Hi guys, from here, Skelstry Garage, and uh, welcome to this month's Three Blind Mice Invitational Build Off. And it's the Pontiac GTO. This uh, this custom was kindly donated to me by Time Rider. Thank you, Lee, very much. It's much appreciated, my friend. And uh, for the other two as well, which will be coming up in due course. This is uh, a lovely casting, absolutely gorgeous casting. Um, I hope you like what I do to it, Lee. Here we go. Just a, a usual drilling out the, the body posts using a 3.5mm drill. Nice shout Jordan, it's very long to do this. Uh, just the two rivets to do, same as usual with both of the Hot Wheels. We can pop it apart. It's a little bit tight on the uh, on the rear one there, but it pulls off. Quite a nice little interior, and the glass literally just pops out. Great condition. Set those to one side. Just need to uh, clean these posts up just to make sure that the, the base goes back on easier later. And I know one thing that sets this cast in apart from all the rest is that it's got the rear spoiler but I'm not a fond lover of rear spoilers so I'm afraid this one had to go some people will be cringing now especially all these Hot Wheels purists but hey ho try and be as gentle as I can with it guys don't you worry There's a, a horrible casting line right the way across this boot lid. And I can certainly say that took some game lid off. But we persevere. Just putting the, uh, the openings back in there. And off to the shitty strip. In you go. Little shake for luck, as Lee says. And after a good clean up, here's what we have. Just going over it now with the, the uh, wire rotary tool, wire brush on the rotary tool. And it absolutely cleans up beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. Really, really like the shine on this one. And it's got some beautiful body lines on this car. And at this point, I just knew I was liking it shiny. So, out came the teacup. And this is something I don't normally do. I don't normally polish a, a casting up. Look at the shine on that, guys. I was like, what? Loving it. Absolutely loving it. And it's not like it was hard work either. I and mean, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And after just a few minutes, it's almost ready for paint. So what I went for on this one, homemade candy colour. 
Uh, there's uh, quite a lot of people doing homemade candy. And once again, that's thanks to uh, Brian over at Diecast Outcast. Um, he's been putting up some, uh, some great tutorials on how to make your own candy colours. And this one is one that I've done using extracting the ink out of a Sharpie pen into some 2K acrylic thinners. And then that concentrate was then placed into some uh, 1K acrylic clear. Uh, this is automotive acrylic clear, not the, the Tamiya clear. Um, goes on much better. Uh, you get a better effect and to be honest it's a lot cheaper um, you do you do have to uh, put up with the smell because it is a uh, very very strong smelling but with the extractor running it soon disappears uh, just make sure you always wear a mask uh, which you should be doing when you're spraying anyway and uh, Bob's your great granddad it should work quite nicely as you'll see here I'm just pouring a few coats on the layer after layer and giving it five minutes in between just building the, the color up slowly 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 as you'll see there another five minutes tack time and then on goes another coat a quick press before I go anywhere near the bodywork to get rid of any spatters etc And I'm beginning to like this a lot. I shall be honest and say I think that I actually quit on this before I should have done. Um, I do like the colour, don't get me wrong, I, I love the colour of this, how it came out. But looking at it again and again and again, I think it might, might have been nice to go a little bit deeper colour but I'm really happy with the colours I, I stopped at to be honest. Now the only thing you've got to be careful of doing any of these kind of colours is you don't oversaturate um, otherwise it, it will it will run like a like a three year old's nose I tell you it's because you're putting that much paint on there and you just got to be so careful just make sure you give it plenty of tack off time The idea of the tack off time is to allow it to cure enough so that the next layer doesn't start running or rather the previous layer doesn't start running because um, it will totally screw your paint up and probably your day as well. Um, the amount of times I've put too much paint on and you get so annoyed and frustrated. It only takes two minutes to chuck it back in the stripper but it takes you the rest of the day to wind down because you've seriously pissed yourself off. And yeah, I got a bit of dust in there, didn't I? So very, very carefully. Always got a pair of tweezers in the uh, in the spray booth, and uh, just a little bit over the top. And that's just covered it nicely. It's um, it hasn't altered the colour effect as such. Uh, really, I should have gone over the whole car, but. It, it was such a, as it was on just the back end, it didn't really make much difference. And um, I'm liking that, liking that a lot. So uh, whilst that's drying off, we'll uh, stick the glass in the pledge. Uh, a good old dunk. Tap off any build-ups in the corners. Happy, into a pot, on goes a lid. Don't want to spill that stuff. And then uh, we'll cover this over and we'll put it to one side to, to dry out overnight. Now for the interior, not, not really a lot to do with this interior. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlights in here. Just doing the, the gear knob and uh, things like the, the stem on the steering wheel, a couple of um, couple of bits on the on the dashboard. You don't really see them, but I know they're there. I 
I think this was probably one of the, the quickest castings I've actually done in quite a long time. Um, it was more of a restoration than a custom. Um, yeah, it was a custom spray job, but um, as a lot of people say, a spray job's a spray job. But the thing is, it's great fun. And I absolutely love these three blind mice um, invitationals. And I'd like to thank uh, Lee, Paul and George for uh, inviting us over. And like I say, once again, a massive great big thank you to, uh, to Lee Time Rider for kindly donating his casting to me. It was a, a lovely surprise. I got a, a parcel in the post and I opened it up and thought, what the heck's in here? And there was three castings in there for the three blind mice builds, um, which... Absolutely fantastic, sir. Thank you very much. I very, very much appreciate that. Time to put this bad boy back together. Had a, a little bit of trouble with the um, with the base of this Boeing, um, but I've since found out that a few people have had the same problem. So it seems like it's a, a generic. Um, faulty manufacturer. I thought it was just me being an absolute dick putting it back together, but obviously it wasn't. All screwed up nice and tight. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Now it's a uh, Let's put some detail on here. Didn't take long, just using the uh, Tamiya acrylics. Just touching in the headlights. Quite quite tedious to do when uh, you like myself with hands that shake like a jelly. Now for some uh, indicators. Uh, I must apologise to the uh, Americans on this one. I don't know if those are indicators or if those are um, lower fog lights. But on my one, they become indicators, guys. Sorry if they're not. Um, I'm not. I'm not all fay with the American vehicles. They're just touching in the the rear lights, which, to be honest, are that small that it doesn't really show up. Not on. on Unless you're close up to it. But I must have a. I'm so glad I got rid of that rear spoiler. Really, really am. Now for some uh, indicates on the rear. And then uh, last of all, um, the rear number plate, registration plate, VIN plate, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we call them reg plates over here in the UK. And I was always, the rear ones were always yellow and the front ones were always white. So uh, I decided to do it yellow. I thought, well, if this was the car I would have, I'd be driving it around the roads here. So I'll have a British number plate on it. And that's it. Quick recap, guys, of uh, what it looked like. I'm sure you'll agree. It's a beautiful casting. It's got beautiful lines, this car. Absolute sheer beauty. And uh, if you're ready for the uh, the reveal, guys. Here it is. And it's, uh, it's nice and new. Nice new blue. So, change of wheels and some highlighting on the, the lights, the numb plates, etc. And the interior has been um, detailed as well, but you can't make that out. I'd just like to say a massive great big thanks once again to uh, the three blind mice. Make sure you watch all the other builds, some fantastic builders out there doing this uh, three blind mice. Thank you all my followers and uh, all my old and new subscribers. Thank you guys. I hope you like it. Catch you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.